Hey guys, what's up? Um, there's the product review again, part three. All oh, bless. Yes, got the got I got some stuff to talk about, but let's first talk about what it did. It's been almost a month, guys. And this tire. Still rock hard. I don't know how well you can see that, but the tire's still up in there. Oh. There you go. See how much that tire's lost there? This don't have a slime in it. I'm gonna get you down in here. Um I can't I don't know how to prove it. Um Good tape measure. Um, roughly about six and a half inches. And this tire is right about six. Yeah, there you go. Yep. So, further ado, let me get you guys set up here. Alright. Now, this product. This wonderful tire jack, jack, tire sealant. All right. Come on, come on. All right. Now I'll call BS on the slow leak. Because that tire I just showed you that it actually sealed did not work on that, on that sole leak. Uh, sidewall, we're going to experiment on this ag. Because this ag is really leaking air. You can hear it hissing out of it. Um, now, being this is water base, and why that tire took so long, there's a lot of do, do's and do not do. Do not use soap and water. Do not use that at all. Do not use soap and water. That's what irritated that tire. Okay? If you got a small, uh, if you got a patch, or if you got a plug or patch, do not use that. The crap cannot seep into the hole that's leaking and seal it. That tire had one. That's why you see me jab a uh, pick through the tire to get the sealant out. That sealant has to come out of the wall out of the tread if there's a hole right here the sealant has to leak out and if it don't leak out it's not going to seal because it's ear it uh, seal it cures in the air and if you put water on here like I was doing on that tire the water is just uh, rinsing off this uh, cleaner or the chemical so do not use water make sure there's a hole phys uh, physical hole where that leak can leak out. This tire down here cannot have it because I got a plug in it. So the only way I'm going to be able to fix that is by pulling the plug out of that tire and get that crap to seep through and into the air so it can seal. This tire here has got a massive air leak. So was it the was it their fault? That they didn't 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 
is it their fault that they didn't know what was going on? No, it's my fault. But I, from a big company or a family-owned company, they should do should have a piece of paper stating what not to do and how to actually properly use this product. Okay, not everybody is intelligent enough to figure out how this stuff works and how it don't work. Nowhere on this specifically says how it works and what not to use. So basically, you got to make sure it can leak out of the tire to seal the hole. If it can't leak out, it's not going to seal it. Make sure you don't use water because this is water base. Uh, water base. So, being water based like it is, you're just rinsing off your product and it's not going to seal. So, it's not Tire Jack's fault. Um, so, yes, it's not their fault. It is my fault for not understanding their product. It would be nice if they would have told me better and explain it to me. It's, it put it basically like those papers you get um, documentation of how to use this product. That's basically what it should be. I didn't know anything like that. So we're going to take this egg now after I got done explaining the do and don't and we're going to put it in this tire. This product does work and personally I am going to buy some more of this because I got a few other tractor tires I got to fill. Now a lot of you guys I had three main questions, comments one, why did I repeat myself? I was getting irritated because the product don't work. That's why I was repeating myself. I was getting to the point where I just wanted to punch something. Comment number two is why don't I plug or patch a tire? I did. Both these front are plugged and patched. That's besides the point. I can just take these tires off. They're only 25 bucks. Go get a new tire or both new front tires. These eggs are 100 low with a they're pushing 80 some dollars uptown for these eggs. So that's 160 bucks in new two, two new ta eggs. Now, why don't I put an inner tube in these? Well, the problem is, you guys know how I feel about ordering things offline. So, ordering an inner tube for this offline, I don't know if that inner tube is going to be the right one or if it's just a junk piece of crap Chinese inner tube that is going to work for a day and blow open. These eggs are extremely hard to get off the rims. You need a machine to get these on and off. Because they got a, a thick sidewall. Um, number, that's basically the inner tube issue. It wasn't about the front. I don't care about the front tires. I'll just replace them. It's these back ones I cannot run an inner tube in. So the fronts, I could run an inner tube. But I could end up with a problem like that. You guys see that? I blew the inner tube out of that tire. So that's why I don't run inner tubes. So further ado, let's get this pumped up and make sure this is the rim that leaks air. Oh, and another question, another comment I had. All this product is a knockoff from slime. I actually know it's not knock off from slime because slime has some type of an acid in their product that eats the steel rims this product is water based and will not eat this rim it's like putting uh, water in your rim yeah it's going to eventually rust it out but it ain't going to eat it like uh, slime will
Hear that hissing? Right out of the bead. So this product will work perfect in this tire. Oh, and another fact about this stuff, you got to make sure you put enough, a lot of air pressure to push the uh, coolant through, or the flu, uh, chemical through. So, to do these eggs, um, tires, uh, tires up to 27 nine, ten, nines, 10 ounces. So, this is a not 10 and a half, so yeah, I would need 12, but I think 10 ounces should work on this one tire. So, basically, all I'm going to say, I'm sorry, but sorry but to the company, I might sound rude, but you know, I'm a little irritated. But after we figured this out, it makes a lot of sense. So, I know this review is a little light, but better be light than never. It just had a lot of stuff go down on me. Basically, same thing, just shake it all up. Which I've already done before I came out here. Now, we, I'm going to have to work on the other tire. And I will bring, calm it back on the other tire if it actually works.
I don't know if you guys can hear this. There's like glue in this crap. So let's put the tire back together. The tool just broke. Oh, hopefully I can still get air in it. No kidding, guys. The tool just broke. So hopefully I never have to get that valve stem back out. Taking air.
I hear nothing, guys. It's worked. Keep it pumped up to keep the pressure on the tire and I'll lower the pressure down in 12 to 24 is what they say. Give it 12 to 24 and like I said I'll do a follow up on this video on the next ag. Um, and I'll tell you if this tire goes flat. Alright, peace out man. Oh, before I go, make sure you guys are running that tire for about 10-15 minutes. Um, you can hear the tractor running right now. So yeah, make sure you guys are running the uh, tire after you put that crap in it. So, it's been running about 10-15 minutes, so that should be enough to splash it around and get it around the bead. So, I guess now what we do is drop the jack down on. Just like that. Drop the jack, put the weight on there. God, it looks weird. Alright, catch you guys later then. Uh, be prepared for a follow up on that tire. Because I gotta figure out where that tire is leaking at. So, catch you guys later then. Peace out, have fun.